my research focuses on the public health impacts of both outdoor and indoor air pollution. We know that worldwide, air pollution is the single largest environmental risk to human health, responsible for approximately 7 million early deaths each year. In terms of our role as researchers, we are interested in quantifying that impact, looking at wider scale implications of intervention measures. So, for example, if we look at interventions such as emissions control initiatives, what impact does that have on a city as a whole? We're also interested in what the specific impact of intervention measures is in a particular context. And that needs to take into account the socio-cultural considerations. For example, what is a suitable intervention for the city of Kigali in Rwanda may not be directly transferable to another community living in Nairobi in Kenya. So we know that in the UK, air pollution costs the UK economy approximately £20 billion every year. But we're much less certain about the direct and indirect costs, particularly for specific population groups, such as pregnant women, children, those with chronic disease, the elderly. What I think is most important is firstly for us to better understand the health impacts, that relationship between individual pollutants, for example, particulate matter, nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and the disease conditions that they cause. At a policy level, I think we need to understand a lot better the behavioural impacts of intervention measures. So at the moment, for example, we've seen car-free days being introduced in certain UK cities. We've seen exclusions of vehicles around schools at peak times. But we don't yet really know what the impact of those interventions is on transport choices, physical activity, and indeed whether there is a net benefit for human health. And that is something I would like us to much better understand so that we really are informed when these choices are made.